Hello, second grade cougars. I'm here to talk about the ocean today. So I'm gonna start by reading this book, Life in an Ocean by Carol Lindeen. What are oceans? An ocean is a large, deep body of salt water. So boys and girls, it's very different from a pond or any f other things like that because it's this is salt water and ponds, rivers, and lakes, they are all fresh water. Oceans are found in every part of the world. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. Ooh, that's, I love to go to the beach and ride waves. That looks like fun. Ocean animals. Fish swim in oceans. They eat small animals and plants. They are so colorful. What a beautiful fish. A whole school of fish. Crabs have hard shells. Crabs walk on the ocean floor. Sharks have fins and sharp teeth. They hunt for fish and crabs. Ooh, a lot of people are scared of sharks and I don't want to swim with them, but boy, they are a beautiful animal. Ocean plants. Seaweed is an ocean plant. It grows near the shore. And because it's green, we know that it makes its own food through photosynthesis. Kelp is an ocean plant with long leaves. Fish can hide in the kelp. And boys and girls, in the um, ocean, there are things called kelp forests, where so much kelp is growing and in fact, back here, I have a picture of a kelp forest. Seagrass grows on the ocean floor in shallow water. Wow, I did not know that there was seagrass growing at the bottom of the ocean. Living together, ocean animals eat plants and other animals. Ocean plants shelter ocean animals. The ocean is full of life. So it's just another habitat where animals and plants live together. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at some animals and plants that live in the ocean. And the first one is called a spiny brittle star. So these brittle stars hide in dark spots under rocks, in cracks, and at the base of giant kelp. They eat kelp, red algae, and dead material. They are an echinoderm. They live in the ocean. Their predator is a Garibaldi fish. And their interesting fact is that they are active at night, and that's when they hunt for food. So they like the dark. All right, the spiny brittle star. Oh, this is a sea otter. Look at that guy, he's so cute. Sea otters live in kelp beds. They eat abalone, sea urchins, snails, and other mollusks. They are a mammal. They live in the ocean. Their predator are killer whales. And this is an interesting fact. A female sea otter leaves the water to give birth returning immediately with the newborn pup, which she carries on her belly. Oh my gosh, look how cute that little guy is. Oh my gosh. I don't know if they're really so friendly, but they sure are cute. Okay, this is a purple sea urchin. These sea urchins hide in cracks or rocky reefs and among the kelp. They eat algae and dead material. So they're, um, they eat algae, that means they're herbivore, and dead material, that means that they are um, a, a decomposer. They are an echinoderm. They live in the ocean. Their predators are sea otters, sea stars, lobsters, and some fish. Their uh, interesting fact is that predators will try to bump sea urchins off rocks 
to bite into their exposed underside. So this is a pretty good adaptation, a strategy. They have all these spikes up here, but underneath they have a soft belly. Mm-hmm, okay, purple sea urchin. Here's another animal that lives there, a turban snail. Turban snails hide in cracks in the rocks between high and low tide lines. They eat red algae and kelp. It's a mollusk, it lives in the ocean, and its predators are Garibaldi fish and sea otters. An interesting fact, if a turban snail falls into an anemone, it will quickly lose its operculum. And the anemone cannot digest the shell or the operculum, so it will let the snail go. Wow, that's a pretty cool little thing. The operculum is this little door. It's like a door that, can, that the snail can use to seal itself into its shell. All right, oh, here's the Garibaldi. Garibaldi. These fish live on rocky bottoms in open areas and in protected bays. They eat sponges, anemones, algae, worms, clams, and crabs. Boy, that is a tough little fish. It's a fish. It lives in the ocean. Its predators are sea lions and sharks. And it's interesting fact, the male clears a nesting spot and performs a courtship dance to attract a mate. And boys and girls, I have to tell you another thing about them. The male takes care of the, of the, of the baby fish and the eggs. The female does not do that. Oh, red octopus. This is red octopus, but it looks white to me. Shelter, octopuses stay in cracks during the day. Food, they eat crabs, other mollusks, crustaceans, and fish. Okay, it is a mollusk. It lives in the ocean. Its predator are sea otters. So sea otters like to eat them. And it's interesting fact, you can find octopus holes by looking for a pile of shells and remains of meals that are piled up at the entrance. Oh, they, it's like they throw out their trash, right? All right, here we go. Here is a kelp crab. These crabs hide among the kelp and they eat kelp. Well, that's pretty convenient. It is a crustacean. It lives in the ocean. Its predators are octopuses, giant kelp fish, and Garibaldi. Interesting fact, the female carries her eggs on her abdomen until they hatch as larvae. So they're like little baby crabs and she carries them around. Cool. And the last one is the giant kelp and we've been reading about it. Before, lots of animals ate the giant kelp and lived in the kelp. Giant kelp live in deep, rocky, coastal waters. They make their food from sunlight. This process is called, we know it, photosynthesis. Okay, it is an algae. Wow, I did not know that giant kelp was an algae. It lives in the ocean. Its predators are abalone, crabs, sea urchins, and some fish. Interesting fact, giant kelp grow in large, thick groups on rocks. All right, so boys and girls, that was a lot of information about plants and animals that live in the ocean, mostly animals, right? And now I'm gonna draw a picture about the animals in the ocean and write a little bit about them. All right, so boys and girls, I drew a picture of the ocean habitat. And as you know, art is not my strong point, my strong suit. So we're gonna be a little kind to me <laughs> about my artwork. Okay, so this is the ocean habitat. I have a red octopus right there. I have a kelp crab down in at the bottom. I have some snails that have attached themselves to the top of the giant kelp. I have the Garibaldi, which are kind of swimming among the kelp. I have a purple sea urchin. And boys and girls, actually, purple sea urchins are kind of bad for the uh, kelp forest because they like to eat the holdfast, which is down at the bottom. And so 
if there's too many uh, sea urchins, then they can destroy an entire uh, kelp forest. Luckily, this little guy, the sea otter, loves to eat sea urchins. I have a br brittle star. I have a sea otter, which, boys and girls, I am not a very good artist, but that's what that sea, that little otter is supposed to look like. Oh, you're so cute, you little otter. And I have the giant kelp. Okay, so I drew this picture. I hope that you guys can do a slightly better picture than me, but that's okay. I did the best I could. And then I wrote about the ocean habitat. The ocean is an enormous habitat with many different plants and animals. The most important fact about the ocean is that it contains salt water. Only plants and animals that are adapted to salt water can live there. There are many plants, including giant kelp, seagrass, and floating algae. The plants provide both food and shelter for the fish, crabs, sea stars, and other animals that live there. Below the surface of the waves are many plants and animals that live in the ocean. So boys and girls, please make sure that you draw a picture of the ocean habitat. Include all kinds of different animals. You could add some more, right? You could have a shark, you could have a manta ray, you could have uh, 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 dolphins, and then make sure that you write something about the ocean habitat. Okay, I have really enjoyed getting to know about all these different habitats with you boys and girls.